Hey guys, it's me, Just a Freak, and oh my god, this happened. I have so many things to unbox uh, this time that I can't even fit them in the frame, and I'm using a wide angle. I don't know if I would be using a wider uh, angle, everything will be, I don't know, have a fisheye effect or something like that. Anyway, so we have four big boxes one, two, three, four. And we also have 10 uh, normal packages. So hell yeah, this is gonna be fun. And uh, yeah, what what can I say? Um, can't wait to open them. Can't wait to see what's inside of it because I ordered this stuff a while ago. Some of them recently, some of them a long time ago and they came in this month. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. At least for me and yeah let's let's get to it and first we're going to start with uh, two series that I picked up used one of them is Red Rum uh, this is an older Tokyo Pop release and it's only three volumes and it's a horror story basically it's uh, the story of a group of uh, teenagers early college students that uh, are going to a cabin somewhere in the mountains and uh, somewhere remote and of course all the weird things are starting to happen and uh, everybody gets in trouble so it's that kind of a slasher story i might say it's only three volumes. I've read this uh, during a readathon this month and it was pretty cool and I'm happy that I have it. And let me show you some art. Uh, by the way, this is a manhwa, so it's read from the left to the right. And the art is pretty good. It's something that I kind of found out that uh, goes well with manhwa. A lot of a lot i haven't read a lot of manhwa but what i've read has good art and the other one is uh, innocent w uh, this is again an older Tokyo pop release only three volumes uh, again used and uh, this is a story about another horror story that involves a trial and a witch hunt and yeah people are uh, <laughs> Maybe guilty, maybe innocent. We're gonna find out. At least that's what I uh, what I read in the synopsis, and it seemed pretty interesting. Both of these, I found them pretty pretty cheap uh, on a seller in Greece, and I got them, and I was happy to to see how uh, how it goes. So yeah, uh, besides those boxes and everything, I also got some manga that I already unboxed because. Uh, yeah, th those were used. And next, let's see what we have in uh, these smaller boxes. And we're gonna take, practically, this is one package, but it's pretty big, so let's see what we have here. And it looks like we have another volume from the Berserk Deluxe Edition. And let me get uh, the wrapping off. So yeah, this is volume 5, I'm normally pre-ordering the deluxe editions from uh, Dark Horse, both of uh, Berserk and uh, Helsing, as you, as you saw. And yeah, it's something that I really want, and pre-ordering you get 10% uh, off, so that's better. Each one comes with this uh, piece of paper with some descriptions, since you don't have anything on the back. So yes, this is the fifth volume from the Berserk Deluxe Edition. Uh, this one contains volumes until uh, the volume 15. Each one is a thin one. It's a really nice uh, edition and believe me, the art is great in this one if you don't know anything about Berserk. But if you don't know, you should probably check it out. I'm not gonna show you pages from this one because uh, this volumes in particular can be pretty pretty spoilery and i don't want to risk it to give you some sp really really important spoilers from the story so yeah first one berserk deluxe volume 5 
Next one, another pretty, pretty big box. And let's see what we, what we got in this one. And it looks like I finally have the last volume. I think this is the last volume. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me see if it's noted anywhere. Uh, but yeah, volume three from the Drifting Classroom, a classic horror story, one that was out of print for a long, long time and it recently got a reprint in this beautiful uh, hardcover edition from Viz and I'm so happy that I did it and that I managed to, to get my hands on it. And let's see some art, so here it is. The, the art style, it's older, but it looks pretty, pretty good in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna start this soon. Next one. Let's see. What do we have here? And I, I think that some people are gonna be happy because this is something that I got because a lot of people are telling me that I don't have any sports series in, uh, in my collection. So after they told me and told me again and again, I give a sports series a shot. So I bought Slam Dunk because it's, it's by Takehiko Inoue and I love his art. I love Vagabond and I believe that he can also deliver a really, really good uh, sports manga. I'm not that into sports, probably that's why out of uh, two, over 2000 volumes I don't, uh, I don't own a lot of sports series, just a little bit of sports series and maybe something that people don't even consider sports. But yeah, volume one from Slam Dunk and pretty, pretty interested to see how this will go because I'm not such a sports guy. Next one, let's see what do we have in this small package. And here we have volume two from Slam Dog. So yeah, have volume one now, volume two, and finally some real sports uh, series in my collection. By the way, a lot of you might say, why didn't I start with Haikyuu? It's because of uh, the mangaka here, I know that I like his art and his work, so maybe this will be more appealing to me. Maybe not, we'll see. And I'll probably try IQ in the Shonen app, uh, Jump app or something like that. Next. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And this is... Volume 10 from the Quintessential Quintuplets and oh my god, I was needing these volumes and you're gonna see why but I finally have it I'm I'm loving this series and I can't wait for all of the volumes to be uh, out in print because every time I'm trying to actually read something in advance online, but I don't find it as good as reading it in person so I end up, I don't know, for example, I've read volume 10, but I'll probably reread it again to, to experience it like this. And afterwards, I'm gonna feel the inclination to read a couple of chapters from 11. And after that, when I get 11, I'm gonna read also that one again. And yeah, amazing series, great art, uh, comedy, romance, drama. That's pretty good about a guy who has to teach to tutor a set of uh, quintuplets and from the beginning of the series you will find out that uh, he's gonna end up marrying one of them but you don't know which one and the story works so well that even with that big spoiler at the beginning of the series you will still be intrigued and you will love it at least a lot of people do and if you don't know quintessential quintuplets, give it a shot. And next one, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, this is wrapped. 
and I know why this is wrapped. So even the cover, I don't know how um, how friendly this is. I don't know if people would actually put something like this in uh, in the bookstore. So yeah, this is Destiny Lovers. Um, this is the baby of uh, World's End Harem and uh, Prison School, if I may say it like this. From what I've read, it's not uh, as good as any of those two. But it was still pretty interesting and it's really, really etchy. And since I'm a degenerate, I'm gonna read it. This was recommended to me by Mix and uh, yeah, I like it. It's not, not that good. It's not uh, something that will blow your mind away, but it's at least the first volume was funny enough. So I'm, I said that I will continue it. So now I have until volume 3 and let me find something that's... Oh! From two pages I found two decent sets of panels. So yeah, that's how the art is. Uh, probably gonna do a review after I read volume 2 and 3. Next, let's see... What do we have here? Oh, nice! So I have To Your Eternity, Volume 12, and from the ones that uh, have seen my uh, collection video, you will know that I don't have a bunch of volumes between uh, 4 and 12, but this was on sale. Actually, I think that I pre-ordered this one since uh, you, you get that uh, nice discount because these are pretty expensive. They are from Kodansha and they are uh, 13 US dollars. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty much for a volume. But the series is pretty great. It's from the same mangaka that did the Silent Voice, but it's something quite different. It's, I, I really liked it from what I've read. I think I've read it on Crunchyroll uh, back when it came out. And I'm gonna slowly pick Pick them up and by the way if you haven't seen my collection video yet go check it out it's 200 no 2400 volumes it's a pretty big one and I have a lot of stuff there and probably you're gonna have fun next let's see what do we have here oh what's this oh I remember I remember so this is, I had the same dream again, and it's from the same uh, mangaka, the same creator, I've, at least the one that did the light novel, but I also think that the artist that did uh, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, and oh my god, I love that story. It was sad as f but I really, really loved it. And when I saw that uh, we have another volume uh, from the same creators, I just put it in my basket and I click that buy button and yeah, I have it now and let's see some art. Yeah, it's it's quite similar from what I remember, so probably the same the same duo. Next one. And by the way, I think that that one is a 2 in 1, not a 3 in 1. Let's see, let's see. And we have some Yuri, Secrets of the Princess. Uh, this is from the same uh, mangaka that uh, did uh, Girlfriends and I recently read Girlfriends and I loved it. A lot of people are saying that the Girlfriends is a good Yuri for beginners and I agree with that. It's quite innocent and it's quite, uh, I know, heartwarming in, uh, in, a lot of, uh, in a lot of ways and after I read that one, I searched for anything that was still in print from the mangaka and uh, and I got this one and I can't wait to read it. Probably it's gonna be one of my first reads from this uh, haul, but since it's that huge, I think I'm gonna say that a lot. And the last normal package, not a huge box that I have, it's pretty heavy. So I think that it should be a hardcover, and it is. And this one is actually not a manga, 
this one is a comic book and uh, let me unwrap I don't think that this series is indecent uh, or anything like that normally uh, graphic novels are shrink wrapped to protect the volumes because as you can see it's a pretty pretty nice beautiful release and it got it has that leathery feel i don't know or something like that this is the umbrella academy and the, this is the library edition volume one or book one i've got this because i saw it in one of the hauls from otaku mike he recently got uh, into into this series i know that there is a tv show out uh, on netflix that's covering uh, covering this but yeah i wanted to try the the comic book he said that it it was pretty great and yeah i gave it a shot because this series intrigued me i haven't seen the the tv series yet because i not watching so many of those lately but yeah we'll see we'll see the art looks good the edition is beautiful and a lot of people are liking it and this was a recommendation to me so i pulled the trigger and i got it and now let's let's go to the boxes and we're gonna start with the smaller one and let's see what we have here because as you can see this uh, this box is not in the best of shapes and I hope that everything is uh, all right with it and yeah fingers crossed that nothing is damaged in there and fingers crossed that I have really really nice and interesting things in it but yeah I ordered them I'm gonna like them actually forgot that I ordered this so again comic books and these are so from a really really old order that I had and uh, yeah these are the Walking Dead book 11 book 15 uh, you probably saw in my other hauls that uh, I uh, ordered some other books covers from this series uh, I slowly try to get them all and every time when I see uh, some of this going on sale I'm actually trying to to buy them so this is how the art looks like if you don't know The Walking Dead is a drama uh, story about the world going to shit and uh, the world being full of zombies and a lot of people are uh, are dead and the ones that are still alive are some pieces of uh, human scum and that <laughs> that's what makes this series so fun for me at least because you get to to encounter some uh, some really really strong good and bad characters in this story and yeah i'm a fan of the tv series and also of the comic and i want to have it all now let's see what i have in the other box quite uh, quite nice that uh, that book depository started to pack uh, things like this in big boxes instead of sending a lot of smaller ones i was actually talking with some guys on discord about this they were happy to so yeah i hope that they will do it more and more because to be honest uh, i have to go to the post office for packages and yeah it's pretty pretty bad to go there uh, too too often uh, i'm lucky that uh, since i'm ordering so much stuff uh, I tend to go there once a week or once every two weeks and they put everything aside for for me so it's a little bit uh, simpler to get everything but yeah if it's in a box like this it's gonna be more more easier for the people that are working with deliveries for me and for everyone 
And let's get this out of the way. And see, because this time it's not comics, it's a bunch of manga. And I have my boy. And from what it seems, from what it looks like, I have volume 3, 4 and 6. And if I remember this well, I have uh, 1, 2 and 5 in uh, in my collection. Yes, that's, that's how it is. I was missing these uh, volumes. And right now I have another big chunk of volumes that I can read from this series. And I will jump into it because this is a really, really interesting series. Really nice one. You always stay on the edge because you don't know how their relationship will evolve. If it's going to be something... Uh, Dramatic, something uh, not uh, <laughs> something that's not good, and something that you probably won't want to see. But at the same time, you also like their interaction, and uh, you hope that everything's gonna go right with it. But yeah, it's the interaction about a girl who is a little bit older. I think she's in a, her thirties. And the boy that uh, kind of comes from an unfortunate situation back home and she helps him a lot and they... I, I think that they uh, start to, to have some feelings for each other, but nothing from what I've read so far uh, points to anything weird between them and uh, from what I heard even in uh, in these volumes even in volume 6 nothing weird happens so hopefully it will stay like this but yeah it's it's pretty fun and I really enjoy it next we have some volumes from Citrus and this is another Yuri another Yuri that I collect it's one of the popular ones it's one of the spicy ones and the art is pretty pretty great and uh, yeah some volumes were um, out of stock out of print for a while and it got me a little bit on the edge there but uh, recently i managed to order all of them so i'm just waiting to to see if i actually get them delivered but yeah i saw the anime for this one i know what's happening here but I also want to read the manga because I liked it and it's it's a Yuri that I enjoyed. It's the story about two step, stepsisters uh, that have kind of a different um, personality. But yeah, as you probably would have noticed since it's a Yuri and since uh, uh, from the covers and everything, they start to develop feelings for each other, at least some kind of feelings. Uh, and yeah, you, you'll get to see how that develops. And it's pretty spicy in some places, but it's fun and I recommend it. Next one, it's another Yuri series, a lot of Yuri's lately. If you saw my other hauls also. So this is Blooming to You, Volume 5. As I said in my last haul, where I got another uh, set of volumes uh, this is something that was recommended to me a lot of people are saying that this one is really really good and uh, it's put out by uh, seven seas and yeah it was recommended i listened i got it and i'm slowly picking it up and uh, i'm planning to to read it to, to see to see how it is Next, a while ago, I've bought uh, some random volumes from uh, July and April, since this again is a series that's pretty acclaimed. So I think I bought, I saw on sale volume 1 and 3 and 4 or something like that. No, volume 1, 2 and 4. And... Um, yeah, uh, I've read volume 1 recently, it's as good as they say it is, I love that one, so after reading that volume 1, I uh, went to Book Depository and I ordered the rest of the series, because I want to binge it, 
uh, let me show you a little bit of the art this is a drama story a high school drama story involving a guy who kind of lost his uh, his reason for living and his reason to see any joy in his life but uh, due to some circumstances he's, um, he's kind of trying to starting not trying starting to uh, to get up from uh, that depression that he's in and yeah i i won't say anything more and i really want to to have all of this and read it and should have more let me see yeah i also have volume 7 here so yes uh six more volumes from july and april i'm almost complete with this series i think it only has 11 volumes in it and probably the rest are either on the way or just wait a moment i found another one in the box so i also have volume five sorry about the glare let me show you the spine and the back so, seven volumes from July and April. With the three that I have, it means that I have the first ten volumes. Uh, from what I remember, this series is uh, only uh, only eleven volumes. So I'm just missing one that's even somewhere in the in another package or uh, or on the way. Or uh, yeah, I, I I should get it at some point today or in another hole almost done with it i almost have it and i almost at the point where i can start uh, binge reading it this one so yeah pretty pretty happy about it next one let's see i have volume 14 from ajin demi human this is a release by vertical it's about um, a world where uh, some humans after they die they have the uh, ability to come back to life uh, whatever you do to them they are immortal and they have they manifest some kind of spirits like this one on the cover i love this series if you guys are watching my channel you know that mr sato from this series is my favorite villain i read until volume 9 i think and after that i was waiting for a big chunk of volumes to came out and that took a while because I started reading Ajin when I started collecting uh, manga and uh, these are coming out really really slow but I really like this series and I'm happy that I right now I think I can actually start reading it again since I have uh, six volumes or eight to read I don't know exactly. Anyway, if you are reading Ajin, let me know if uh, volume 14 uh, stops or it's in the middle of an arc. And if I should read and uh, read it, and if I shouldn't, where should I stop before a new arc starts? I think that this, the, this story is, from what I heard from some people, should be in uh, its last arc or the last arc is coming pretty soon but anyway great series uh sane and series that i really enjoy and i recommend it and the last two volumes from this box are uh, two more volumes from blooming to you so now i have also volume two and four i had volume one in uh, in a previous hole in volume three and with these two I have a big chunk from, from this Yuri series. Pretty, pretty excited to start it and get into it and see what's all the fuss about. Now let's get to the second, the third actually, the third box. And this is even bigger and in a pretty good shape so i hope that everything inside it is good so far i had no damages no visible worth mentioning damages at least i didn't see any so yeah pretty pretty nice haul because you guys know that some of the packages that i get since uh, 
it takes so ma much to get to me and since how the postage works sometimes uh, they get in with some damage so let's see and another big pile of manga let me And let's start. So, volume 5 from Makimaho. Uh, I messed up and I made the wrong person into a magical girl. And this is how the title sounds. Messed up magical girl series. Some interesting art. And yeah, that's kind of it. I, I haven't read it yet. Haven't started it yet. I picked this up because I wanted the magical girl series besides card capture sakura in my collection and i knew how messed up this one is and i know some people that are reading it so yeah i think volume 6 is also out at this point and uh, i don't know i also heard that it's nearing its end so we'll see after that i have i hear the sunspot uh, limit volume 1 and this is a prequel, a sequel actually, from the main series. So from the main series, we have another series that's uh, only one volume. And after that, we have this one that uh, is a two volume series. This is a Yaoi series from what I know, Boys Love. And uh, I've read the first one. I find it, found it pretty, pretty good. It not pretty good it was really good and i have i have a first impression video on my channel so check that out uh, the characters in uh, in those two uh, were pretty pretty interesting and uh, i really loved their interaction but in uh, in that one it was just um, at the point where they started to know each other a little bit so yeah, I really enjoyed it. I have a first impression if you want to see more. I think that this one is uh, further in uh, along the years. I don't know exactly, to be honest, but I wanted to, to read the rest. And I think I ordered all of the volumes that are out from this, uh, this uh, saga, let's say like this. After that, I have Goblin Slayer Volume 8. Uh, if you guys saw other hauls from me, you know that I like Goblin Slayer. I have nothing with Edge in manga, in anime. Actually, I'm a fan of stuff like that. And uh, I really like the, um, uh, the anime for Goblin Slayer. I can't wait for Season 2. And the manga also has some really nice art and i decided to pick pick it up this one and the side stories that are out there so yeah goblin slayer volume 8 after that it looks like i have yeah as i said theory of happiness so this comes after the the main i hear the sunspot series this is the first sequel Theory of Happiness, pretty thick volumes from One Piece books, as you can see. So, guess I'm gonna find what happens with the main characters uh, after afterwards in in this one, and after that it comes. Um, let me also get that other volume to put them side by side. Uh, I hear the Sunspot Limit, Volume 1 and 2, and from what I know, this is complete like this. I don't know if uh, the mangaka is planning anything after this, or if this is the end of the story, but yeah. Pretty nice series so far, and it looks like this one is... So I've spoken too soon, and this one is a little bit damaged right there, but nothing too major. Anyway. I was eyeing these uh, volumes since I uh, read the main series. Uh, they are pretty expensive, at least here in Romania. I don't know why. Probably because the One Piece Books is a smaller editor. But yeah, finally they came uh, in a sale and I also had a coupon. So 
I was able to, to get them for uh, a nice price, not the overprice that uh, they were charging for my country. It, I think it was more than retail and I never pay more than retail for series that are in print. And after that, I have, from what it looks like, a bunch of volumes from this series. So this is Tool of Root Darkness and I have volume 12. Volume 13, Volume 14, and 15. And with these volumes, I should uh, have everything that's out until uh, Volume 16. And I think that that's the last one that is out currently. Yeah. Let me search for something that's not too etchy and it's YouTube friendly because uh, we all know that this series it's um, it's pretty pretty <laughs> pretty graphic. So yeah, uh, this is the sequel to the main series to Love Rue, and this one, as I said before, it's more etchy, so it's uh, bringing the etchy to another level. Uh, I recently read uh, some volumes from uh, the first series. I like it a lot. It's a comedy, high school comedy that involves, that has a harem around the main character and a lot of shenanigans and funny stuff happens and a lot of etchy moments that are just making you laugh like crazy. And yeah, happy, happy to, to be I think up to date because I don't trust uh, Seven Seas to keep volumes for too long in print because for some series, Frozen for example, um, volumes that volumes are still coming out from that series but uh, the first ones are for a long long time out of print. Anyway, you know that I'm collecting citrus and I'm trying to get my hands on all of the volumes during that time when during the time when i started collecting citrus also the continuation of the story came out it's called citrus plus uh, right now we have only one volume in print and the other one should be out uh, pretty soon so i was really happy when i found out that uh, there is a sequel to the series and i can't wait to to read it but i think that i'm gonna wait until uh, i have all of the main series to give it a reread to refresh my memory and after that maybe i'll have probably hopefully volume 3 from this one out so yeah citrus plus it also has a continuation we're gonna see more from the characters and from what i heard um this is a little bit more spicy than the first series uh, I don't know, I'm not sure, I haven't read it, but yeah, Citrus Plus Volume 1, uh, hopefully I'll have uh, more in the future. Next, I have a series that's pretty etchy from uh, what you can see on the covers, I get a lot of etchy series quite 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 the degenerate so yeah this is raw hero and it's from the same mangaka that did prison school a series that i find hilarious and uh, let me get the plastic out of um, the first volume to show you some art it should be similar to the one in prison school if you're familiar with that one I really like that story and I heard that uh, I think that uh, man and his uh, merch uh, is collect I, I know that he's collecting this one but I think that uh, I talked with him about about this one a while ago and he said that it's pretty nice so I gave it a shot and this is the art and yeah <laughs> it's quite 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 uh, edgy at some point so i have to be careful when i show um, show pages but yeah can't can't wait to read it it's the same 
manga card that did prison school and if it has some of that humor in it I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna love it after that I have another Yuri series I think that this one was crowd fr uh, founded at some point or at least that's what I heard somewhere on discord at, at a point if not let me know in the comments if I'm saying some stupid things here but yeah this is road queen it's uh, one volume series uh, it's I think it's an action uh, action driven uh, Yuri series and yeah I've heard only good things about it it's only one volumes uh, and I said that I'm gonna pick it up until uh, until it's still it's still in print because it's something that I want to try and read so road queen eternal road trip of love and the last volume from this box is love on the other side uh, this is a short story collection by Nagabe I have another set of uh, short story collections from Nagabe and I also have the girl from the other side from Nagabe all of them were beautiful I love uh, this mangaka's art the stories and everything and every time when something like this comes out when something in print comes out from Nagabe I'm gonna pick it up and I was really happy when they announced this volume this is from Seven Seas and yeah it's a short story collection uh, and probably some are gonna be better than others but that's normally what you get with short stories now let's move to the last uh, the last box and this one i think i remember what it is and from how heavy it is i think i know have more uh, orders for this shop because this one is from a Romanian uh, Romanian shop called Book Express and I order manga and comics from them and this time around it should be from what I know yeah it's comics it's comics and I don't know if you remember but a while ago I started to collect uh, the library editions from Hell, uh, not Helsing, from um, Hellboy. Uh, it collects a big big chunk of the series, uh, at least from the main series. So uh, these ones are uh, the ones did by Mike Mignola, but anyway, they do a really nice stuff with their packages they are always sending you a postcard with some thoughts a little uh, ladybug here some stickers and stuff like that so that's a really nice touch and now let's see the volumes and oh my god these are so heavy and i know how the quality in these ones will be so i have let me put this out of the way so as you can see I have volume 4 with a lot of glare and we're gonna fix that right now because I want to show you some art uh, if you want to see how the other volumes look like uh, I have them in uh, in my previous hauls and I think some of them uh, actually have them on the video thumbnail so you won't search too too much for them let me get this box out of the way so yeah this is how uh, a volume looks like it has a really really nice feel I, our library edition and pretty pretty high quality uh, this is the series uh, done by Mike Minola he has a really interesting art style and acclaimed He's using just uh, a couple of colors in his panels and he's, he's doing amazing stuff with, uh, with that. And yeah, this will contain uh, the main Hellboy series, at least from what I know. 
and with these three volumes I'll have it complete. So as I said, volume four, I also have volume five and I also have volume six and this should be the last one. And damn, these two volumes are pretty thick. And besides that, I also have Hellboy in Hell. So this is a collection of other stories and another set that we got in this beautiful library editions, oversized and I, I, I love these books. And I've read a chunk from the first volume to see if I like it. And yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with, uh, with Hellboy. I'm, uh, Hell, Hellboy uh, is, uh, is, is good to me. So yeah, these were all of my pickups from uh, this manga haul, a ton. I, I, I don't even know how long it took for this video to, <laughs> to, to, to be recorded. I hope that uh, I haven't bored you, but hopefully not because I don't know, I, I, I like to watch stuff like this. Uh, I like to see what other people get, even if some are not, I don't know, okay or considering uh, holes good in any way. Also big holes for some reason. But yeah. <laughs> there are so many that I can't even put them in the frame for, uh, for the end of the video. But yeah, I hope that you like it that you liked this haul. Uh, I hope that uh, you're gonna stick with me on this channel and you're gonna subscribe to the channel to see more, to see impressions, to see hauls, collection videos, figures. I'm also gonna try to build an Evangelion uh, figure model uh, pretty soon. It's gonna be my first one, so most probably I'm gonna suck and I'm gonna break it, but at least I'll have some fun. And yeah, it was a really nice experience for me. Now I have to see where I'm going to put all of this uh, on my shelves. Uh, if you want to check other videos, I have uh, a set of playlists in, uh, in uh, the video description. I'll also link some channels from the guys that I mentioned from the community in uh, during this whole during the unboxings. I'll, Hope that you liked the video and if you did, please leave a like. It helps a ton the channel to grow and me to see if, uh, if you liked it. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Just tell me your thoughts in the, the comments. Let me know what you didn't like about it. And besides that, if you, if you have any thoughts on this series, both comics and uh, manga, if you read them, if you want to find more about them, so maybe that way I can prioritize reading them and giving you some info or even posting a video about it, an impression, a short review. Let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to talk with you guys. I love interacting with uh, the community out there. And yeah, please leave a like, please subscribe and I know, until my next video, go read your manga. Bye bye.